Hey guys, the air conditioner here because why not? And welcome to our Isle Adventures of basically let's just let's just jump right to it. Amaya named Pistachio. Who like come on, that is like the best name. I, I was like browsing through our names for the Maya because everybody wants Maya, so we're doing Maya and I saw that name, I completely forget who said it, so I'm sorry I can't really give credit, but oh my god, I love it so much. Pistachio the Maya. I mean, cause think about it, pistachios they have that like beige white but not white color and then they have like the green of like the inside or whatever and this guy is that it's perfect he's so perfect and so basically what I did was I found a little bit of a herd here to really get us started because yeah lately there's just been so many like carnivores killing like just everything and I came from all the way down that way towards uh that one lake that has a little bit of like a, an island in it and yeah, migrated my whole way here, just solo, didn't really see much, and then I found that albino shant near the ruins, and followed it over here, and there's quite a nice little herd, like, I haven't seen this this amount of uh, shants in quite some time. We've got three of them here, we got two stegos, an ankylo, a galley, I believe a dryo, and I think that's another stego, yeah, I think that's another stego down there, we got a big guy in the water just doing his thing. We got some rexes around here, we got some dead sukos, oh, there's another stego, I think. Wait. Oh, oh, we got a little carno here. Urgh, get out of here! Oh, oh, God, he's... Oh, he's dead. I did not realize he had that low health. Alright. Well, yeah, so we got a nice little uh, herbivore gathering here, which, like, I found it kind of like... This kind of ends up happening whenever you have, like, a little herbivore herd. Like, this rock-ish, like, hill thing here... This becomes like where the herbivores they, they like make their like final stand kind of thing like against the uh, carnivores and all that stuff. Like normally it's like they're sitting up here. Oh god. Oh. Ah, phone. What are you doing? Thought I turned you off. Silly phone. All right. So yeah, yeah. Like they basically they end up uh like basically just chilling here. Oh please don't cr crush me. Please. <laughs> I always get really scared when they do something like that. Okay, he seems semi-friendly. Or they may be protecting me from the, uh... That's a lot of Rexes. Okay. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Oh, God. Oh, God. We, I'll pro they protect me, I'll protect the Dryo. That's right, you get out of here, Rex! You get out of here! Alright, so... Yeah, I believe Mayas do about 200 damage, I want to say, right? I think they do. But yeah, like, it always ends up like this! Like, every time. Like, when I was showing my friend how to play, like, the trike and all that, kind of, like, introducing him to the uh, this game. Not Andy, the an another friend of mine. Uh, we were basically in a little herd of trikes, and in basically, like, a little grouping of, like, different, like, kinds of herbivores, and we basically stood off against, like, aloe packs for days. It was awesome. And apparently, we, we have the same thing going down, but it's with Rexes. I mean, I can't complain, because, I mean, that's pretty awesome. But yeah, that Rex over there, he's injured. He took a nice, like, head bashing from me, and we got another green one coming in, which kind of scares me. I think this, uh, albino one is taking to me as, like, a, some sort of parent figure or something. But, oh god. Hey, you! Get out of here! Oh, I think I just double hit him! Yeah, yeah that's right, Maya fighting a Rex! Get out of here, you! Oh god! Oh no! Oh god, no! <laughs> and dead. Alright, yeah. I've also been told nobody really likes my whole. Well, not nobody, but like, some of my uh, death screams are a little uh, horrifying. I'll try and tone them down a little bit, but when you're getting your throat torn out like that, it just kind of comes out. But I think we made him just about to start limping, so I mean, yeah. I'm not just gonna sit there and take it. Heck no. Alright, so we are in the middle of nowhere-ish. I'm starting to learn this map like really well to the point of where it's like I just so much so much to see like for example like a little sloping down like this and I can be like, alright, I know where I am. But like where I am now, all I know is like, alright, that three peaked mountain, that is that's where we gotta go. And I believe our shant friends, they should be alive by the time I get back there, because I mean there's, I think three of them, I don't know where one of them went, because there's just two of them fighting them. We injured that Rex, like, we had him about, what, 
four, maybe five times, and I think we, I want to say we do 200 damage, because I, I swear I heard that somewhere, but yeah, I, I think we like got him just about to be limping, or if he gets hit once by a Shen, he's just straight dead, so that's pretty cool, we, we did our part, so what I'm going to do now is play the game of I'm going to make my way back there, and we're actually uh, nearing Oasis, so it's kind of like maybe, I want to say 10 minute little walk from here, so not too long, and yeah, I'll see you guys in a whole three seconds, and hopefully the uh, herd will still be alive and all that, because I mean, they got Stegos and like an, An an Anki and a Dryo. The Dryo's the main weapon, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Okay, so I made my way semi back to spawn, I mean... I was almost there, and then this guy came out of nowhere, and I made a U-turn, I'm like, yeah, nope, uh, maybe the whole herd died, and this guy's like the only survivor, so I'm just gonna follow him now, and what with the fact that I was actually chased by an aloe, I hid in the, uh, the shrubbery, and that's kind of spooky, but you know what? I'm alive, and that's what matters, so yeah, we're gonna follow this guy around and see if maybe he can lead us to another shant herd or something like that, because... I mean, they, they seem to have a more, like, tight-knit community than the, uh, than the Mayas, because, I mean, really nobody plays as a Maya. I'm probably, like, one of the only Mayas in the land or something like that, so. Yeah, and he, he's doing broadcast and all that. I think he's trying to maybe get a herd foreman or something. I mean, regardless, I saw an aloe, like, right there back at Ruins. I mean, it was going the opposite direction from us, but it did look at us, and... I would not be too surprised if I turned around and just saw it, like, sneak into the bushes or some creepy thing like that. Ah, oh, God. The life of a herbivore. Alright, well, we made it to, uh, I found out this, I believe this lake is called Cannonball. It's, like, right below Oasis, which is up there. So, I mean, I'm, start I'm starting to learn all the callouts. I thought this was just, like, weird canyon, like, lake thing or something. Regardless... Gotta love how, like, he can stand right there and I'm, like, full-blown swimming. Yay. Oh, God. There's, there's a shant over there. Oh, God. Don't you just love being interrupted by a really loud phone call? Oh, yeah. yeah I, I gotta shut this thing off at some point, but, yeah. All right, so, hopefully I didn't cut it off, or future me didn't cut it off or something like that, but, yeah, moral of the story is me and the little shant there, we're in the water, and just out of the corner of my eye, I saw a shant being chased by something, and apparently, there's a big herd. Oh my god. Yeah, so basically I was just communicating with this guy just here saying like, Look, there's something over here. And look, there's a herd. There's two trikes, two stegos, an anki, and a shant. Oh my goodness. Insert Jurassic Park theme song here. Hello. Oh my god. Finally, I'm safe, like, to an extent, as long as I don't go off chasing, like, Rexes and all that. Oh, God. Alright, so, jeez, I think the, these guys came from twins. They had to... Oh, that's what was chasing them. Huh. Either it's a solo aloe or there's a pack or something like that, but yeah. These guys had to have come from twins because there's no way in heck they all just spawned right next to each other. I mean, I mean, there's a chance that happened, but I do not see that at all happening. That's just like, that's too rare. But yeah, we got an aloe up there and wait, there's a tail of something up there. I think that's either another aloe or I swear I heard a wreck. So yeah, we got carnivores over that way. I mean, me being a Maya, I can do like, basically I can like pinch them to death kind of thing. Like that's my damage equivalent. But really, I'm like kind of like the dryo of the group, to the extent of what's it called. I I point out danger, and all right, this trike here is really like, hey, what you doing? So here's my logic. Let's go and uh, show them. Hey, look, we got a something you can kill, and then their entire like train of thought will be like, kill the Maya. They won't be thinking about the trike horns, and then ba boom, we get them. So basically, I'm gonna be the, uh, what's it called? The nice, the nice cooked turkey with, like, the noose that's gonna, like, wrap around their foot and drag them into a tree, like, old cartoon style, like, stuff like that or something. I don't know what I'm referencing, but whatever. 
Alright, these guys gotta be really careful over here, because if you go down from that way, you will break your leg regardless. But over here, this is the nice safe way down. I mean, we got the chance over there, I should probably, like, if I was smart, I'd be with them, but... I want some action. Well, action to the point of, like, I want to watch it, not really be a part of it too much. Oh, God. It's not a happy Rex. Oh, God. It's like a... It's like the trio... Like, no, that's the three musketeers right there. The prehistoric musketeers. Oh, God. They're going in. Yeah, so we got an Aloe and a Rex. That's our only threat right here. Wait, is that one injured? No, he's faking it. Alright, they're chasing him out of here. Alright, Rex seems to not be a problem. The Aloe, he's a little bit more hesitant, but he might... This, the way he's running right now, he might break his leg. Possibly. Oh, he got stuck for a second. That trike's not letting up. Oh, God. Where's our trike for... Oh, he's, he's still going in. Oh, my God. You know what? He gets points for effort. Oh, oh, God. Stego, go help him. There's not really much I can do here, but... All right, Aloe's dead. You know what? He's injured, but he, he made a noble sacrifice. And that and the fact that, I mean, we're right near Cannonball, so we can start healing, which is nice. Don't worry. I'll protect you. Alright, I'm, I'm going to keep an eye on the Rex. If he starts coming closer, I'm going to just basically start freaking out, and then they'll be like... Actually, he, he is... He is coming near. You don't, you don't want what I got. I'll kill you. I'm crazy. All right, where's the other trike? Because that's really our only other big weapon we got here. We got an injured one who could, I think can maybe survive one bite. And that's about it. But the aloe's dead. And in my case, that's like, oh God, no, I spoke so way too soon. Where did you come from? Oh my God. I was about to say, oh yeah. Uh. Yeah, the aloe was the only thing that was my big problem, because it was the only thing that can catch me. And then right out of nowhere, Carno just clamps onto my butt. That, that That's not what I wanted. That's the exact opposite. Alright, what's my health at? Ow. Alright. So that guy is... He's not faking. I think he actually broke his leg. Not really, uh... Not really the health-wise, but... Yeah, he's straight up leg broken. That is not good. But also, I love how the Maya, like, they have, like... The whole, like, if you're in trot mode, you're on, like, two legs, but if you're not, you're on four. I think they're gonna do something like that, I heard, with, like, the Spino when they add that. Or they might have it where it's, like, the Shant, where you can switch between the two. Which, I mean, that's gonna be pretty cool. So, yeah, we gotta keep an eye out on that. We gotta keep an eye out on this car now. That's right, I see you. I'm gonna go near the safety of these guys now. Thank you very much. That's right. You don't want what I'm selling. Because I determined that I, if we do, like, as a Maya, do 200 damage, we do about the same as a... A, what's it called? A Karna over there. So it takes about four hits for us to... Actually, no. Five hits to kill one of them. So, yeah. But also it takes, I think... One to two, uh, trike hits to kill one of them. Look at this little defense circle we got going on. Oh wow, we're almost full health. Alright, I gotta keep an eye on my, uh, the guys behind me, because I don't want to have it where, like, Rex just comes out of nowhere. Oh god. Eh, 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 eh. You don't want what I'm selling, my man. I'm just gonna bring you right into the tricorns. Oh, oh, I actually hit him. I got him. Yes. All right, that's one out of possibly five. And also, I'm able to heal a little bit. 
Eh, eh, eh. Oh, got him. Why is it that, like, when I hit their tail, nothing happens to them? But why didn't they hit my tail? No. They're able to float, full blown kill me. Like my, like my main, like, heart is in my tail or something like that. No! Yellow Tri gets dead! It, ma it made a noble sacrifice, though. It got the Rex. Oh my god. Rest in peace. Alright. Well, nothing more to do but sit here, heal a little bit, and hope that Chrono doesn't come back, because I, I chased him out of here. Yes, I did. Alright, so, anywho, I think right here is a good spot to end it for now. Next time, uh, I don't really know. Because that Karno could come back, he could have friends, the Rex could respawn now with a vengeance knowing that we are in this area or something like that. So, yeah, only time will tell. So, yeah, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. With an Anki and a Shant. Oh my goodness. Insert Jurassic Park theme song here. Hello. Oh my god. Finally, I'm safe, like, to an extent, as long as I don't go off chasing, like, Rexes and all that. Oh, God. Alright, so, jeez, I think they, these guys came from twins. They had to... Oh, that's what was chasing them. Huh. Either it's a solo aloe or there's a pack or something like that, but yeah. These guys had to have come from twins because there's no way in heck they all just spawned right next to each other. I mean, I mean, there's a chance that happened, but I do not see that at all happening. That's just like, that's too rare. But yeah, we got an aloe up there and wait, there's a tail of something up there. I think that's either another aloe or I swear I heard a wreck. So yeah, we got carnivores over that way. I mean, me being a Maya, I can do like, basically I can like pinch them to death kind of thing. Like that's my damage equivalent. But really, I'm like kind of like the Dryo of the group, to the extent of, what's it called? I, I point out danger. And, all right, this trike here is really like, hey, what you doing? So here's my logic. Let's go and uh, show them, hey, look, we got a, something you can kill. And then their entire like train of thought will be like, kill the Maya. They won't be thinking about the trike horns. And then, ba-boom, we get them. So basically, I'm gonna be the, uh, what's it called? The nice, the nice cooked turkey with, like, the noose that's gonna, like, wrap around their foot and drag them into a tree, like, old cartoon style, like, stuff like that or something. I don't know what I'm referencing, but whatever. Alright, these guys gotta be really careful over here, because if you go down from that way, you will break your leg regardless. But over here, this is the nice safe way down. I mean, we got the chance over there, I should probably, like... If I was smart, I'd be with him, but I want some action. Well, action to the point of, like, I want to watch it, not really be a part of it too much. Oh, God. It's not a happy Rex. Oh, God. It's like, a, it's like the trio. Like, no, that's the three musketeers right there. The prehistoric musketeers. We did our part. So what I'm going to do now is play the game of I'm going to make my way back there. And we're actually uh, nearing Oasis. So it's kind of like maybe, I want to say, 10-minute little walk from here. So not too long. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a whole three seconds. And hopefully the uh, herd will still be alive and all that. Because, I mean, they got Stegos and like an, an Anki and, an and a Dryo. The Dryo is the main weapon. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Okay, so I made my way semi back to spawn. I mean... I was almost there, and then this guy came out of nowhere, and I made a U-turn. I'm like, yeah, nope. Uh, maybe the whole herd died, and this guy's like the only survivor. So I'm just gonna follow him now. And what with the fact that I was actually chased by an aloe, I hid in the uh, the shrubbery, and that's kind of spooky. But you know what? I'm alive. And that's what matters. So yeah, we're gonna follow this guy around and see if maybe he can lead us to another shant herd or something like that, because. I mean, they, they seem to have a more, like, tight-knit community than the, uh, than the Mayas, because, I mean, really nobody plays as a Maya. I'm probably, like, one of the only Mayas in the land or something like that, so. Yeah, and he, he's doing broadcast and all that. I think he's trying to maybe get a herd foreman or something. I mean, regardless, I saw an aloe, like, right there back at Ruins. I mean, it was going the opposite direction from us, but it did look at us, and 
I would not be too surprised if I turned around and just saw it like sneak into the bushes or some creepy thing like that. Ah, oh, God. The life of a herbivore. Alright, well, we made it to, uh, I found out this, I believe this lake is called Cannonball. It's like right below Oasis, which is up there. So, I mean, I'm, start I'm starting to learn all the callouts. I thought this was just like weird canyon like lake thing or something. Regardless, gotta love how like he can stand right there and I'm like full blown swimming. Yay. Oh God, there's, there's a shant over there. Oh God, don't you just love being interrupted by a really loud phone call? Oh yeah, yeah I, I gotta shut this thing off at some point, but yeah. All right, so hopefully I didn't cut it off or future me didn't cut it off or something like that. But yeah, moral of the story is me and the little shant there, we're in the water and just out of the corner of my eye, I saw a shant being chased by something, and apparently, there's a big herd. Oh my god. Yeah, so basically I was just communicating with this guy just here saying like, look, there's something over here. And look, there's a herd. There's two trikes, two stegos. Oh god, they're going in. Yeah, so we got an aloe and a rex. That's our only threat right here. Wait, is that one injured? No, he's faking it. All right, they're chasing him out of here. All right, Rex seems to not be a problem. The Allo, he's a little bit more hesitant, but he might, this, the way he's running right now, he might break his leg, possibly. Oh, he got stuck for a second. That trike's not letting up. Oh god, where's our trike for- oh, he's, he's still going in! Oh my god. You know what, he gets points for effort. Oh, oh god. Stego, go help him! There's not really much I can do here, but... Alright, Aloe's dead. You know what, he's injured. But he, he made a noble sacrifice. And that and the fact that, I mean, we're right near Cannonball, so we can start healing, which is nice. Don't worry. I'll protect you. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna keep an eye on the Rex. If he starts coming closer, I'm gonna just basically start freaking out and then they'll be like... Actually, he, he is... He is coming near. You don't, you don't want what I got. I'll kill you. I'm crazy. Alright, where's the other trike? Because... That's really our only other big weapon we got here. We got an injured one who could, I think can maybe survive one bite. And that's about it. But the aloe's dead and in my case, that's like, oh god, no, I spoke so way too soon. Where did you come from? Oh my god. I was about to say, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, the aloe was the only thing that was my big problem because it was the only thing that can catch me. And then right out of nowhere, Karno just clamps onto my butt. That, that That's not what I wanted. That's the exact opposite. Alright, what's my health at? Ow. Alright. So that guy is... He's not faking. I think he actually broke his leg. Not really, uh... Not really the health-wise, but... Yeah, he's straight up leg broken. That is not good. But also, I love how the Maya, like, they have, like... The whole, like, if you're in trot mode, you're on, like, two legs. But if you're not, you're in four. I think they're gonna do something like that, I heard, with, like, the Spino when they add that. Or they might have it where it's, like, the Dryo. That's right, you get out of here, Rex! You get out of here! Alright, so... Yeah, I believe Mayas do about 200 damage, I want to say, right? I think they do. But yeah, like, it always ends up like this! Like, every time! Like, when I was showing my friend how to play, like, the trike and all that, kind of, like, introducing him to the uh, this game... Not Andy, the an another friend of mine. Uh, we were basically in a little herd of trikes, and in... Basically, like, a little grouping of, like, different, like kinds of herbivores and we basically stood off against like aloe packs for days it was awesome and apparently we, we have the same thing going down but it's with rexes i mean i can't complain because i mean that's pretty awesome but yeah that rex over there he's, he's injured he took a nice like head bashing from me and we got another green one coming in which kind of scares me i think this uh albino one is taking to me as like a some sort of parent figure or something but oh god Hey, you! Get out of here! Oh, I think I just double hit him! Yeah! 
Yeah, that's right. Maya fighting a Rex. Get out of here, you. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. <laughs> and dead. All right, yeah. I've also been told nobody really likes my whole... Well, not nobody, but, like, some of my uh, death screams are a little uh, horrifying. I'll try and tone them down a little bit, but when you're getting your throat torn out like that, it just kind of comes out. But I think we made him just about to start limping, so, I mean, yeah. I'm not just gonna sit there and take it. Heck no. Alright, so we are in the middle of nowhere-ish. I'm starting to learn this map, like, really well, to the point of where it's like, I just so much so much to see, like, for example, like a little sloping down like this, and I can be like, alright, I know where I am. But, like, where I am now, all I know is like, alright, that three-peaked mountain, that is, that's where we gotta go. And I believe our shant friends, they should be alive by the time I get back there, because, I mean, there's... I think three of them. I don't know where one of them went, because there's just two of them fighting them. We injured that Rex, like, we hit him about, what, four, maybe five times, and I think we, I want to say we do 200 damage, because I, I swear I heard that somewhere, but yeah. I, I think we, like, got him just about to be limping, or if he gets hit once by a Shen, he's just straight dead, so that's pretty cool. We, we Hey guys, the air conditioner here, because why not, welcome to our Isle Adventures of Basically, let's just let's just jump right to it. Amaya named Pistachio. Who like? Come on, that is like the best name. I I was like browsing through uh, names for the Maya because everybody wants Maya, so we're doing Maya. And I saw that name. I completely forget who said it, so I'm sorry I can't really give credit. But oh my god, I love it so much. Pistachio the Maya. I mean, cause think about it. Pistachios they have that like beige white but not white color, and then they have like the green of like the inside or whatever. And this guy is that. It's perfect. He's so perfect. And so basically what I did was I found a little bit of a herd here to really get us started because, yeah, lately there's just been so many, like, carnivores killing, like, just everything. And I came from all the way down that way towards uh, that one lake that has a little bit of, like, a, an island in it. And, yeah, migrated my whole way here just solo. Didn't really see much. And then I found that albino shant near the ruins and... Followed it over here, and there's quite a nice little herd. Like, I haven't seen this this amount of uh, shants in quite some time. We've got three of them here. we got two Stegos, an Ankylo, a Galley, I believe a Dryo, and I think that's another Stego. Yeah, I think that's another Stego down there. we got a big guy in the water just doing his thing. we got some Rexes around here. we got some dead Sukos. Oh, there's another Stego, I think. Wait. Oh, oh, we got a little Carno here. Get out of here! God, he's... Oh, he's dead. I did not realize he had that low health. Alright. Well, yeah, so we got a nice little uh, herbivore gathering here, which, like, I found it kind of like... This kind of ends up happening whenever you have, like, a little herbivore herd. Like, this rock-ish, like, hill thing here, this becomes, like, where the herbivores, they, they like, make their, like, final stand kind of thing, like, against the uh, carnivores and all that stuff. Like, normally it's like, they're sitting up here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah, phone, what are you doing? Thought I turned you off. Silly phone. Alright, so, yeah. Yeah, like, they basically, they end up, uh, like, basically just chilling here. Oh, please don't cr crush me. Please. <laughs> I always get really scared when they do something like that. Okay, he seems semi-friendly. Or they may be protecting me from the, uh, that's a lot of Rexes. Okay. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Oh, God. Oh god, we, I'll pr they protect me, I'll protect them.